Hey, Kurt Kreiser here, and I just wanted to do a quick video with some updates for Amazon affiliates. Now, if you haven't heard, Amazon recently eliminated pretty much all of the useful affiliate tools inside the Amazon Associates account. So with the Associates account, we're no longer able to create native shopping ads. We're no longer able to create images or text and images. All you can basically do now is create a text link, which quite frankly, is pretty much useless. So a lot of people are looking for alternatives for the site stripe, and I wanna walk you through an easy way to bring back all those features and more and be able to easily promote Amazon products. So if we look at Amazon here, I'm logged into my associates account. So up here on the site stripe bar, you'll see that the native custom ads are gone. We can no longer click on that. The text and image is gone and also the image is gone. So right now, all we have left is a text link, which you know really isn't a great way to promote products. Now, what's even worse than that, any previous native shopping ads, text and image or image links you created are no longer going to work. And I'll show you an example of that. So I am just on one of my demo sites here and you can see right here, I'm basically reviewing uh, the best knives for trimming brisket. And under my first pick here, you can see there's nothing under it. There's no ad. Now, if I go back into my WordPress admin, you can see actually under that, I had an Amazon native shopping ad. So I had a shopping ad here. It should be displaying directly under my top pick here to obviously give people an opportunity to click on the link and go purchase it from Amazon. But again, because they took that away, they also no longer support it, so they're not working on our sites either. So we actually need to go replace those. So of course the big question is how do we replace it? Like what tool can we use? Well, for me, I use a software called Affiliate Ninja. Uh, full disclosure, I created the software and I created the software exactly for this. I was looking for a way to get all of my ads back because obviously I'm losing a lot of affiliate commissions now that they've eliminated these tools. So with the Affiliate Ninja software, you can easily insert those back in with our affiliate ads. And quite frankly, I think ours look a lot better than what Amazon ever provided anyways. So if I go into my back end here, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to replace these when you use our Affiliate Ninja software. So again, my ad is no longer working. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a new block. I'm gonna to go to Browse All. And if I come in here, since I have Affiliate Ninja installed, I now have these product boxes I can insert in. So I'm gonna basically replace the native shopping ad. I'm gonna use our top pick ad. So you can see that loads in here. All of the formatting is already done for me. And now to replace this, all I'm gonna do is go up into the code I had for the native shopping ad. I'm gonna grab the ASIN of the product, which I can grab from my code here because I have it. Otherwise you just go on Amazon and grab the ASIN. And now to create this, all I need to do is come over here and enter in that ASIN number. So I pop that in there and it loads the ad for me. So it loads all of the information from Amazon directly into my site. So it brought in an image using the API, which is now required by Amazon. You can't just go on Amazon and save an image and upload it to your site. You actually have to get it through the API. Affiliate Ninja does that for you. It brought in the product title, the price, the description, and this buy now button actually has my affiliate link already created and done for me. Now, the great thing is these are completely customizable. So for example, a lot of Amazon products have these huge titles. So what I can do is I can just come up here and delete a bunch of it. This product description is a little long for my liking. So I can come in here, I can make an edit on that. And then over here, we have full control. So for me, I never show the price because I want people to have to click my affiliate link to see the price. So I always turn that off. I have the description on, I have the show button, which is our buy now button here. And then we have settings for everything. So maybe this image is a little too large. I can scale that down a bit. If we keep going, we have our top pick highlighter, which is right here top pick. So I like that saying that it's our top pick, but it's fully customizable so I can change the colors as well. So maybe I want this to be a blue box here. I can also change the typography. So that's a little small. So maybe I make it a little bigger to stand out. 
You know, I can make it bold to make it stand out even more. We have our title, so our title is right here. Now, I like to have that also be a hyperlink. So all I need to do is toggle this on and it automatically inserts my link for me. I didn't have to go create it with Amazon. If we keep scrolling, you can see we have options on everything. We can change the description, the button. Maybe I want to change the color of that button, make it more of a like an orange like Amazon. I can do that. And I like to also change this to check price on Amazon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to typography. I'm gonna make that a little bigger because again, I want it to stand out. So I'm gonna also make it a little more bold. And then what I'm going to do is I can change the button width so it's all on one line. So I can check price on Amazon. And then lastly, we also have the border we can change and also the wrapper. So the wrapper, I'm gonna to come to the border and I'm gonna also make that blue just to make it all the same. And just like that, I have my product box in my site. I can get rid of this old unsupported product box. I'm going to update this page. And now if I refresh the page, you'll see I have a product box back in here. So I have our top pick. We got the title, the image. Again, the title has our link already in it. The check price on Amazon has our link in it. And quite frankly, I think these look a lot better than the product ads anyways. Uh, and we have a lot of different options with these. I'm just going to show you some of them. So in addition to the top pick, we can also do a product box. So maybe it's not actually a top pick. It's just a product box. I can load that in. If I put that ASIN back in there, again, it's gonna load everything for me. Now, each of these has different presets, so we can change those. So this makes it more of a vertical display. This one puts the price up in the corner there, and you can see we have a lot of different options. Maybe I wanna list out the pros and cons. I have that option. We can change it more of to a box. So now we have a top headline up here. We have the price, we have our buy button, and all of these are completely customizable. But again, each one is gonna give you a different preset you can use. Now, another thing people are gonna to need to do is replace images. Um, so that's very easy as well. You can use any of these boxes and then just simply turn all this stuff off and all you're left with is the image. So it's very easy to replace all of your images as well. And again, this is within the Amazon terms of service because they require now you to bring in images with the API. So if I come up here again, just to show you some of the other ones, we also have a rating box. So if you want to rate different products, we have a comparison table. We have recommended products. So if you want to, let's say, recommend the best for beginners, best for intermediate, best for pros, you know, you can do different types of ratings as well and basically recommend different products for different people. So we have that box as well. And then of course we have pros and cons and we are adding more of these all the time. So we're continuing to grow this and add more and more. And again, the great thing about this is it is going to add the information using the API, which is required by Amazon. And with the Affiliate Ninja software, you actually don't need to have access to the API in order to use that. We actually have it uh, built in that you can use because in order to get the API, you need to have made three sales on Amazon. So there is some people out there who are just starting to promote Amazon and they don't have access to the API yet. You can still use the plugin because we actually have an API you can use that's built into the software now. In addition to this, you probably promote more than Amazon products on your site. So again, any of these, we can again go in and add one of these and we don't have to use Amazon. So I could promote a different affiliate program. I would simply upload an image, give it a product title, put in my affiliate link, and you can use all of these boxes for any affiliate program you want. It's not just for use with Amazon. So again, it's a great plugin to use. It's an easy way to replace all of those deprecated ads because they've been removed from SiteStripe and we can no longer use them. And in addition, any of that you had created, again, you're gonna to need to replace those, otherwise they're not going to show on your site. So Affiliate Ninja is a very easy way to replace all of those quick and easily. You simply pop in an ASIN and everything loads for you. Uh, so if you want to give Affiliate Ninja a try, I think you're going to love it. I'll put a link below this video, but again, it is the perfect alternative now that all of the site stripe features have basically been removed by Amazon.